Welcome to the Slope of Hope here on KTIK Radio. That's KTIK Radio, where the bulls look tired and the smell of Kodiak is strong. That goes out to G Cox, who in <laughs> my last video made a comment about how I asked me asked me if I had done radio. I have done some radio, but I was never a DJ or anything. This is Brian Johnson from thestockmatter.com, and I want to do a blanket thank you to everyone who's been leaving comments and stuff underneath. Love to get back to you individually, but been really, really busy doing another video for you here. Going to make give you a rundown of my opinion on the current state of the markets. First, a big shout out to Pushy Galore. Thank you so much for your kind comment. And to Treasure Hunter, who has family in Aberdeen and Eureka. Why do they call it Eureka? Because if you can find the darn place, that's the first thing you say. All right, so let's break into the markets. And you can see here we were watching this yesterday. We had a break up and over this channel I had. Now, straight sideways all day long. Guys, listen, sit on your hands during these days. Find stocks to play, but don't play the indices. It's very, very difficult to pull any kind of money out of the markets when they move sideways like this. Patience, patience, patience in trading. It will pay off. You don't have to have money in the markets every day. You're more than likely going to get your hand slapped if you try. So days like this, don't worry about it. Just just stay stay calm, wait for a bigger move. However, this is a 60-minute chart. It also is a high base formation that is bullish. I would be watching for a break up and over this area. Maybe it happens uh, overnight futures trading and it's back to break even by the morning. Who knows? <clears throat> but I would certainly expect... And because the charts tell me I must remain neutral to bullish in the short term, I am neutral bearish long term, but in the short term over the next day or so, I am certainly neutral to bullish. Break up and over this 200 day moving average on the Dow would signal another potential intraday buying opportunity. But I'm going to tell you guys, this looks like, a, and I'm not a professional idiotician here, but this looks like a one, two, three, sideways four, and then a five move up. I don't particularly like to play five waves. Maybe it's a five of C or whatever. I don't know. I don't care. But um, uh, I don't like to play these last uh, bit on the waves. Uh, just too risky for me. I just go ahead and wait for a, a, a better entry. But if you're looking to play it on a quick intraday, I would wait till it breaks up over this 200-day moving average. I'll show you where things seem to be headed. Nor notice this very strong overhead resistance here. Uh, a lot of the markets are making it to this point, if not beyond this point. Uh, and we're watching, flip to a daily, the 50-day moving averages. That seems to be where everything wants to go very badly. Notice how we are about 70 points away from it here, 80 points-ish away from the 50-day moving average. Keep that in mind as we move forward. But 80 points would not be all that hard and probably would be, why not, the end of a wave five there. Uh, I just, like I said, we I would be more apt to wait till I got up to this level and then look to take maybe a, a little short on the market as opposed to trying to play this last 80 points to the long side because you never know when it's going to reverse. So I'd be a little bit more cautious on this. If you are not long the market right now, I would wait. Do not chase it. You're asking for trouble. So the 50-day moving average is my first overhead uh, uh, target on the Dow on a break up tomorrow. NDX on a 60-minute. You can see it up here to the 200-day moving average. Yes, my goal up here is about 1820 on the NASDAQ. Why? Well, let's flip to the daily, which I've added daily charts. G, that would correspond with the 50-day moving average. What do you know? So that would be a very logical place, I think, to find some pretty heavy resistance. That might lend its hand to a, uh, a pullback from there. Now, whether or not this is going to be Armageddon to the downside, I do not know. I really don't. I'm, I'm honestly, I keep my bias out of it. I just wait for it to break the more major levels. And where the market goes, it goes. I play it as I see it, but I don't you know, try to get too far ahead of myself. So we could uh, see a pullback from there. Maybe there's another push left up in this thing. Who knows? So I'm just going to wait for more uh, breaks of these more major levels down here on the NASDAQ before I start looking at a more bearish case. However, this 50-day moving average looks very enticing to me uh, as we get closer to that area since we're so stretched the way it is. SPX 60-minute basing sideways. That's a high base. Notice how we're also right below the 200-day or 200-period moving average here on the 60-minute chart. That is at 11.05. Remember I made mo notice about 70, 80 points on the Dow? That would correspond to 
Yes, about eight points or so on the SPX. That would put us at 1108. My target has been and remains to be 1103 to 1108 is my no fly zone. I will not be taking trades in that area. 1103 to 1108 should act as pretty staunch uh, resistance. If you're going to do anything, you should maybe be looking to take a short in those areas, but I will not be looking to go long. And 1108, why? Well, gee, you don't suppose that's the 50 day moving average, do you? Wow. So they all have about the same target. Uh, I'm still looking at the 50 days on all of these. I, guys, listen, we high based all day long. That's consolidation. That usually means a bigger move is coming. Whether it's up or down, we never know. But beans how it has based on its high, I, of course, would expect it to maybe go a little higher. Yes. So 50, I just, why not? Why not? We, we've broke the 20. Feels like things want to be pulled right back to these 50-day moving averages. What they'll do when they get there, I do not know. But it would seem like a pretty logical target if I'm, once again, I use my Elliott wave not as indication but as confirmation. And an Elliott wave, fifth wave, would put me right about these 50-day moving averages. So, you know, I've got a couple uh, levels now of overhead resistance I can look at. And so that's where my targets are as we push forward. Uh, APEI, I left on the chart to show you. I'm still waiting for a break of this lower channel line. And BTU, you could have gotten short that today if you would have loved to or wanted to. But I'm loving this 48 area up here, 47.50 to 48. I'm not sure we'll make it, but we have pulled back here. I should zoom that in a little bit. But we have pulled back here to... Um, to a logical place of support. Maybe we get one last little push up. If we do, notice how we're staying above that 50-day. If we can get that little push up, man, that 48 is a tasty, tasty shorting zone up here. So be watching that very carefully. I did not throw any more stocks on because Mr. Harry Boxer did a very nice video with a lot of very nice uh, charts. Uh, I wanted to point your attention to the Harry Boxer shorts. However, most of his stocks were all about going long. So any needless to say, that joke did not work. Okay, so that will do it for me for today. I will be back with you again tomorrow. I'll give you a quick wrap-up of where we're at. Now, we're coming to the end of the week. want to start watching your weekly charts as well. If you do that, you will notice we are right back to some overhead resistance on the weeklies. It's more important where we close as opposed to where we go during tomorrow and Friday session. I'm really watching where we close come Friday. So I'll be back tomorrow with a quick wrap-up. And uh, guys, take care. Be careful tomorrow, too. We don't. We might see another consolidation day, which would involve a lot of choppiness. And in that case, turn to stocks for your trades as opposed to just trying to throw money at these indices because today was a bad day to do it. And you wanna, Most people probably got their head handed to them if they tried to play anything today. All right, see you again tomorrow. And Tim, hope you're enjoying your vacation. Glad we can all help out. Lots of good stuff. Bifermus, man, you gave me, uh, you, said, you left me a comment. I love your stuff, dude. Love reading about uh, uh, about the stuff that you put up. And I'm glad to see everybody contributing to help Tim out since I would uh, love to be on vacation and be able to take a vacation and not have to do videos all day long. All right, talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.